Well, it's been a while since I've done a, a raw and uncensored video. Um, down here, at the, took a quick walk today from work. It's an incredible day, um, absolutely incredible. Uh, there's not a cloud in the sky. I'm at the Platte River, and no, oh, yeah, I just wanted to um, enjoy it, so I came outside. Yesterday, I spent the entire day. Um, driving to Nebraska, looking for snakes, helping put up a drift fence from my professor in college, a um, good friend of mine, and we got we didn't get it all the way up, but um, hopefully we got him a good start so he can get it up today. Um, my brother stayed there, so it helped help today. I just couldn't. I had too much to do at work. Um, but that was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, hung out with my college roommate, he decided to go with me and drive over there and drive back. Uh, just got to look for snakes, uh, carefree, no stress, uh, no anxiety. It was a lot, I mean, it was really, really a good time. Uh, now I'm back at work, <sighs> completely down and tired, which doesn't help uh, when I go back to work, but uh, got, getting some things done, get, got put on a new project. Um, where I'm going to be doing more of the bio lead instead of the project management lead, so it'll be a heck of a lot more, um, heck of a lot more interesting and, and more what I'm best at. I'm not very good at managing projects just because I'm, I'm not so detail oriented that I can't keep track of the little things that need to be done. Um, I see the big picture of the project and, and how to get it permitted, but um, the day-to-day -day stuff is, is hard. I can do it, but it's hard. Um, Things. Just sitting here makes me happier. <laughs> when I'm not in the office and sitting outside, I should have brought my laptop and sit out here and got my phone. I can sit out here and work and do whatever I needed to do. Snake count started on Saturday. I haven't counted very many snakes for it, but um, that's the reality of when, when you have other responsibilities, you can't spend a week in the field. Um, hopefully Friday I'll be able to take a classroom or two out in the field with me so they can see some snakes during snake count. We can, we can all get together and count them. Um, I haven't decided where I'll take them. I might take them up to the, the boulder site just because it's, it's gonna have some cool snakes underneath the rocks and they can watch me flip rocks and that sort of thing. We'll probably run across a rattlesnake in the, um, in the prairie dog burrow on the way over to the rocks, something like that. Um, yeah, and if, if I can get over there and do the snake count, I can get a whole bunch more snakes. And then I have next weekend a uh, soccer tournament in Glenwood Springs, so I might um, head up and look for some species that I don't get a chance to to see on the east side of the mountains to be over on the west side of the mountains. Kind of in the mountains, but there's still, still could be some, I think it's like a smooth green snake. Um, yeah, I should need to get more back into these, these raw and unedited videos. Um, just to talk things out, just to get it out there. Um, enjoy days like today. I mean, it makes me, it makes me get out. I mean, look at today. I mean, it makes me get out and enjoy this from, from sitting in my office where I just sit there all day. I mean, I don't do anything. Um, I work. I mean, physical. I can't get up and move around. All right, well, I think I'm going to end it there. Um, I got this bumblebee who's buzzing around me. Oh, that's a cool bumblebee. No, 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 I've never understood people's fear of bees. I mean, I've been stung many, many times, but, um, you know, if you freak out when a bee gets near you, it just, just makes the situation so much worse. It's like people freaking out about snakes. Um, and I did some, a really neat rattlesnake video over the weekend um, that if you get a chance to go watch it, it um, just shows, I'll, I'll, link, I'll link below this, this video on, on, on my blog, I'll, I'll put it there. 
but it just shows it's unedited so it's not um it's it hasn't been cleaned up or, or made pretty but it shows that a rattlesnake found on a road actually first it backs away from us and then once it just realizes it can't get away it, it holds its ground but it never strikes it barely rattles um it just wanted to be left alone uh, so that's where that's what people need to see they need to see more interactions like that with with rattlesnakes understand that you still keep three four five six ten feet away um but you don't have to be afraid of it just like that bee coming by me you know as soon as you freak out it makes the situation worse all right um i think that's gonna be it for now i'll chat with you guys tomorrow hopefully see if i can keep this up